Hello. I'm going to do a bit of a different video today. Um, I am going to take you through my bullet journal setup that has been updated since earlier this year. Last year I did a video about my other setup and I decided to sort of rearrange things this year and I'm going to just take you through what's involved with that. But first I'm going to make a coffee. So let's go make a coffee. Can you believe that this coffee machine only cost me forty dollars? Just gonna run through on my computer and just kind of talk up through the things that I'm doing as I'm going through this setup. So this is my current bullet journal. It is a like term thingy. I'm an official patron of Arky Marathon. If you haven't seen their videos, you should go check them out. My new setup, which is a little more simplified compared to the old one that I had. Uh, I kind of went back to my old one for a week or two and it didn't really work for me, so. I went back to the new one that I developed, which looks like this. I'm gonna set it up for the next week. I just use like a thick pen and a regular pen. I know that some setups have like lots of complicated sort of designs and stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna use this Outline 0.5 and my Muji um, gel ink pen, which is a 0.38. Come on camera, focus. <laughs> And sometimes I use this green 0.5 Muji gel pen as well. It's kind of like an aqua colour. I like these pens because you can replace the ink in the middle, you don't have to throw away the whole pen. This new setup, uh, I just take seven boxes from the left in, and then each day has nine. I usually just kind of try and copy through. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> oh, the. Um, the spacing from the page before and then I just count in seven boxes on the right hand side as well. I just draw those horizontal lines so each day has its own thingy. In my old setup Saturday and Sunday was split across their own row which I don't like because often Saturdays and Sundays are quite busy for me so I didn't want to like limit the space I had to write things or write notes. And then I just divide it into sort of like a tasks column and then like a day column. So I think I take six boxes from the left. And then, um, yeah, that's me counting one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I just take it down to the second last little horizontal so that we have seven days for the week. Duh. Um, and then the, I just mark out the days using a thick pen. Then I have, um, 
I always write out the days of the month on the left and I circle the, um, the week that we're on basically. I don't know why I do that, I just saw it on someone else's and thought it was a good idea. Then I have a few little sections, tasks, what I'm reading, uh, my exercise sort of record. I wouldn't say it's goals, but it's a record. Things I'm working on for uni, things I'm working on for YouTube, um, things that I have to be ready for for next week, and then just like a general notes sort of thing where I write all kinds of stuff. And then with my thinner pen I go in and I write all the uh, dates and stuff. I know it seems silly to sort of write out, you know, 30 numbers every time you set up a week, but I'm a very visual person, so I like to sort of visualise where I am in time, and I do that by writing out what looks like a traditional sort of calendar, and then circling the week we're in. Oh no, so this was the last week of September when I filmed this, so I put in the first couple of days of October in a different colour. And then I circled the week, and then I'm going to write out all the days, the dates for the week. Then I write in sort of my commitments that I have. So I work on Mondays, Thursdays and Fridays. I have uni on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Um, and then other stuff that's just kind of on. So I kind of just keep that in mind. And then if there's something I'm doing before work or after work. And then just in like kind of the top bit of the space for the day, I kind of write down the kind of exercises that um, I want to do. So my best friend and I go riding, we cycle, um, I do workouts through the Sweat app, which is really good. Uh, and then I've just started running more again, now that um, I had a back injury and now it's kind of improved. And then, yeah, I went to the pub and I also went up to dinner. <laughs> I wonder if you can actually hear me. Can you hear me? Yeah, you can hear me. I can always crank the sound up. Crank the bass up. You know how you make the bass better? Crank the bass up. So since that was the last week of the month, I then decided I'm just gonna set up the new month for October, which I have also simplified. I used to take, I think, uh, like two double spreads for each month, but I realized I wasn't actually using any of the things I was setting up. I used to set up things like goals and tasks to do, but I don't really use those sort of that sort of system. Uh, I used to keep track of like habits and stuff, but I feel like they've just become habits now. Um, so I don't actually have to keep track of them anymore. I'm actually much better at doing stuff now that I'm not keeping track. <laughs> maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Maybe it's just because I'm not keeping track that I can't see what I'm failing at. So yeah, I'm just running through. The different setups that I had. April was very simple. I just I just never used that sort of page. I don't keep track of my tasks that way. By September I started to set up, I'm just gonna simplify the page and I'm just gonna keep track of the days and the projects that I wanna work on. So I think that my brain, my brain is different, I know that already. Um, I'm gonna talk about that in a later video. But I like to have stuff to do, but I always forget about what projects I have had in mind and I keep like a little list in my phone and stuff like that but it's good to sort of have this handy and think then think about whichever project I want to work on next and then for the month I just write out the full um, the full month of days again and then the date the the dates and the days which takes some time but it's kind of meditative I try to do my setup on a Sunday night but it doesn't always happen sometimes I don't actually set up my week until like Tuesday or Wednesday and before I do set it up I feel like I'm just lost like I don't know what's going on I can't keep track of the things I'm meant to be doing and I have no sort of visual um, guide of what I'm meant to be up to then I just circle I just put a little box around where the weekends are uh, it just helps me to, f to um, break up visually all those things, so I just put it around the Saturday, Sunday. And having having the days of the week there also helps me. And then Monday was the holiday, so I put an extra box around that. And 
and then because I'm at uni I write in the like weeks of the term because my brain just knows like in week eight I have something due so if I can just quickly see how far away week eight is then that's good for my brain and then I'm just gonna write in the assignments that I have due and clearly my camera wasn't in focus sorry about that and I just write in like key dates and birthdays and if I have things that are booked in that I'm liable to forget and then from the right on the right hand side I just write out the days again <laughs> I don't know why I just do all these calendars but I don't know I think they look nice it's kind of nice like writing out the days but I always manage to like stuff up writing out stuff counting and then um, this is like the list of projects that I have from September also, I just yeah draw a box around those dates. So that's that. That's that setup. And now I'm just going to talk about how it's different from my old setup. So if you haven't already watched the old video, then you can go watch it. Uh, if you want to check out that setup, I go through way more detail about how many boxes, all of that. Uh, it's actually a pretty good good setup but I, I much prefer the one that I developed now. So this is a shot of my old setup where it's kind of, everything's very much towards the bottom of the page. Whereas the new one, it's more like in the middle of the page. So I used to have this like big band at the top that I didn't really use very efficiently. And I didn't like having the Saturday and Sunday split. So now I've got all this room on the sides where I can put notes and stuff. Um, and then in the back I just keep yeah other random notes and things physio stuff oh and I, I really like the like term book because it comes with two bookmarks so I keep one bookmark on the monthly spread and one bookmark on the weekly spread and that's basically my setup I really just want to emphasize that bullet journaling is a really good system and please don't be put off by other crazy like setups that you see out there because it can be just be a really simple really easy system and if you just find, let me just zoom in on my face, find and develop a system that works for you. And yeah, hopefully this, this is helpful. And if you have any questions, leave them below and be prepared for a little bit more lifestyle content coming soon. Less architecture stuff, more just sort of general stuff that I want to share about my life. I kind of, I want to share more about the projects that I'm working on, the clothes I'm making, the adventures I'm going on when they happen and yeah just generally letting you into a little bit of my life if that's what you're interested in. Well for now I'm just gonna finish my coffee and maybe go look at my flowers. I'll come take you to see my flowers. I planted flowers and they're really cute. He's already lost some petals, but there's more, there's more coming. My camera's about to run out of battery. Bye.